Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Who the, you're, you're talking to the what? You're talking to me. I can't. I, I was couldn't remember the real lines from that song if my life depended on it. Really? I don't remember lyrics at all. Why Haven't you ever heard me sing anything? Change? Yeah, you're not. Yeah. I'm not even but sure you anymore. do the Nick thing where you're doing like the you're like Bill Murray lounge singer SNL. Yeah, I got where that. was like enjoying it and bopping around. Doing I got thing. that from Grandma Scarpino. Grandma, Grandma Scarpino used to drive. A what was Grandma? Era. What was her name? Grandma Scarpino. Yeah. Marie. What was her first name? Marie. Marie. Yeah. Marie. Yeah. If you go, if you just guess Marie in an yeah. Italian family, you're gonna be 50, you're gonna be right fifty percent of the time. The other half, it's Maria. Gina. No, it's, 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 it's Gina, Gina Marie, or Gina Maria. That's what it goes. Or Mary, as they call it. My, all, all, not to not to go off on three different tangents at the same time. All of my Italian relatives beyond my my dad's like level of family, yeah. so his aunts, and all, all of them beyond that, like my grandparents, my great uncles and aunts, all had three different names. Sure, I don't know why. My grandfather's well, name the, was the Vincent, holy, the holy book, but they called him John. Because of the apostle. Is that why? I would imagine. I had an uncle named Red, and I was like, what a cool name. They're like, that's not his real name. And I'm like, of course what not. is his fucking real name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, no one knew. They just called him Nobody Red. knew. Nobody Nobody's knew. actually sure if he's actually part of the well, family. The, entire just... family. the guys die off very quickly on that side of the family yeah. okay, at well. 60 years old. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, happy Wednesday, and welcome to the morning show. Uh, my name is Nick Scarpino. Today, with me, my, my friend... My dear confidant and the person who's telling me which headsets to buy for the PS4 so that I can play Rainbow Six Siege, Mr. Greg Miller. Brat, brat, power couple back at it. I we missed are you. The dynamic duo. I miss not doing the show with you. I'm gotta, glad we're back to oh do God. some stuff. Oh God! You're stuck on. in your own gift bag. You try, you're I desperately I trying to. T-shirt. You're desperately trying to put out a tweet about the show that's already started. There it is. You can just there retweet me. I did it. I covered it. Right? Cool, Greg? Oh, yeah. I'm about to retweet it right Talking now. About Thank you, buddy. Team Raider, my thoughts on t-shirts. Tweet. There it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a great show for you today. Greg's going to be giving us his spoiler-free and then spoiler-ish review of Tomb Raider. You saw it last night. We haven't really talked, but I assume we'll get into it. I can do whatever you want. Okay, we'll get, I go we'll, both ways. We'll tap the the kids say. and do a little spoiler. We'll get the spoiler bro thing on the screen. We so do it. people can get all pissed. Like, Are they done talking about Tomb Raider yet? I've waited for this movie my whole life. Oh, oh, no. No. PC gaming. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Uh, of course, if you guys did not know, today's episode of the Kind of Funny Morning Show is brought to you by kindoffunny.com slash store. We have two new shirts up, but I could not be more excited. I'm excited about our merch lineup these yeah, days. Yeah, me too. We got bang after bang after bang of hit t-shirts. You got this cool, you got the cool hoodie. People want a hoodie. The hoodie's got the my hoodie. new jam. Yeah. Washed the hoodie. Yeah. Okay. Still good. Fits me nice and snug. Did the fat guy kind of get in. Yeah, yeah. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now it feels great again. Did you notice any shrinkage? Because uh, I didn't. A little bit. I was very scared of shrinkage in my a, sweatshirt. A little bit of, uh, of shrinkage uh, upwards. Which is fine for oh, me. Oh sure, I'm, yeah, I'm a little okay. short anyway, sure. so okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Of course, yeah. we got the video games are cool T-shirt out now, and kind of funny Gundam tee, both of which are going to be really fun. I haven't tried the Gundam tee on yet. It's good, but I'm excited. We'll work the other day. Kevin's right wearing right it right now. Let me see, Kev. Kev Cam. Kev Cam. Kev Cam it up. There it is. Over me. Okay. Well, all right. Well, there what we go. What do you want him to do? Where do you want him to put Kev Cam? Uh, He's well, got to put that, it somewhere. No, it's it's perfect. There it is. There it is. Now we're friends. Yeah, there it is. Kev Cam wearing the Kev Cam shirt. What? Kev, give us your. 13 second review of the shirt. It's good, it's real good! Wow. You didn't even need 13 seconds. A man of few wow. words, very few words. Uh, other housekeeping fun things, uh, our Guardians of the Galaxy review is up. If you guys did not know, we are reviewing every single Hi, yeah. MCU movie leading up to Infinity War. Oh, and uh, we had a blast talking about this one. I knew this one was gonna be predominantly positive. Mm-hmm. I did not know, uh, we're, we're getting heated now. Yeah. Because people are very passionate about some of these I wanna movies. give a shout out to everybody in the comments and the people who tweeted me and put it on the subreddit of how much they enjoyed at the end when you all go to Bickertown and I just sit there doing this stare. I don't say a fucking word while you guys argue. I just look because I'm just debating where I think it should go. I saw you out of the corner of my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I, like if you'll notice, it's me and Kev, me, spoilers, me and Kev, get, we don't get into it, but we have a nice we heated. We have a strong disagreement. We you have, guys didn't talk for two days afterwards. It, it wasn't a disagreement so much as it was a passion. We were trying to make passionate cases to each other for why, where Guardians of the Galaxy should rank. And you were, you made a very good case for a lot of things. I thought I had a couple good points, but I could see in the corner of my eyes that you were gonna be the deciding vote. Now, am I saying part of me is a little disappointed because all of my opinions for the last three weeks have been just shot down, shot out of the air, sure. maybe. 
did I fight a little hard so that maybe just one time I could win something in my do life? Do you have ma- bad memories? I mean, I don't think you, did you need to fight that hard, though. You know what I mean? You, I you wasn't were the deciding. Te- you, no, I you wasn't. Were I didn't decide vote. vote. No, I wasn't. You were. Was it? Yeah. No, I mean, you could have voted with me and Andy. It would have, it would have been... Like, with all due respect, well, the voting process confusing for me at the end. What, what do you mean? Because this time it was, then it got two hands up. I'm like, oh, we're deadlocked. And then Tim said, all right, and that was it. And I was like, I had to go home and think about it. Two, <laughs> I was like, wait, how did we get two, here? It's just majority. If we had three hands, we would have won. So if you had just lifted your goddamn hand. Sure. Do you see what I'm saying? You voted with me, and I appreciate that. I'll never forget it. When the revolution happens, you'll be my second I'll be spared? In command. Okay. Yeah, you'll be my second <laughs> in command. Uh, other housekeeping fun things. Uh, we are fewer. Is it less than or fewer than? Fewer than. 200 subs away from 200. You can, if you can actually count it, it's fewer than. That's why it's 12 items or fewer at the grocery store. Mm. You can, it less is when you can't like you can't actually enumerate it. You don't know how to put a number okay. on it. Yeah, yeah. So you see water in a cup, and you're like, there's less water in that cup than there used to be. Exactly. When I first started drinking. That's it. perfect. That's but now example. there's more water in my bladder. Sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what I think is right now. Great. Let me take you. Let me take you on a little bit of a walk with me. You ready for, to, go for to go for a walk? I can't wait to go for a walk. When I was a kid, I used to think about what it took to be successful. What did success look sure, like? Some sure. people say, hey, I want to be world famous. Some people shoddy say, Bugatti, shoddy Bugatti, that's what Bugatti, that's it. Diamond Hey, teeth. Cool Greg's wearing the video games are cool shirt. Hey, look cool at Greg. all the new shirts are here. Love it. Uh, to me, when I was a kid, I thought to myself, you know what I, You know what my vision, my version of success in my brain is going to sure. be? 230,000 subscribers. I think to myself, okay. I'm going to be a man. I will finally be able to acknowledge my own penis yeah. when I hit 230,000 subscribers on a YouTube channel. Yeah. A lot of people say, Nick, you already kind of did that. Yeah, I was on another YouTube channel. You already did that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I say, no. We started one channel, we gotta see it through. Right. So I'm here to announce, I will no longer be appearing on Kinda Funny Games. Oh my God. Until we hit 230,000 subscribers. On Kinda Funny Prime. On Kinda Funny Prime. <laughs> <laughs> right, just you see what I'm saying? <laughs> just making sure I good. will not film I'm hoping this happens like a week, because I think we're filming Let's Plays on Friday. I will not grace the hallowed halls. This is the kind of shit of you kind of say though when people start unsubbing, just to make sure it never Do happens. Do they? Yeah, oh yeah, people you are crazy. Not our kids, our kids are good kids. You motherfuckers. Our kids are good. I'm trying to see right now. I'm 100% full of shit on this, by the way. Where are we uh, at? No, uh, yeah, right now you're on, I mean, why? I mean, there's a new party mode up, right? And that's the thing where it's got it, but it's not, it's on Patreon right now, so you're all right. Help us out, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this content and you're on YouTube, if you didn't know, we put this on YouTube each and every day. If you're there and you haven't subbed to us yet and you're on the, if you're on the fence, if you're teetering, hit that sub button. See, really you're doing the opposite it. thing of what I do. Is well, I, I don't... I, yell at people? I'm not worried about the YouTube people watching this. I assume they've subscribed. I'm not about these fucking podcast fucks. These kids right there right now, they're, they're oh, Cheetos, the ones, Cheetos yeah. and Crusted Fingers watching on Twitch. Get off your fat asses. <laughs> Uh, and Twitch, clean your fucking hand off on your boxer shorts riddled with yeah. your semen. Yeah. And then go there and go to the YouTube page and click subscribe. Oh, right God. now, you, driving your kid to school listening to this shit. Why the fuck would you let them listen to this? Pull over to the side, apologize to them, and then subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. It's if very got simple. more than two kids, Jared just subscribed? Yeah. Jared just subscribed. Thank you, Jared. I appreciate oh. that. You subscribe keeping... to his channel too, but we'll get to that later. A lot of people say in, uh, in a lot of Let's Plays, I'm the best part. A lot of people say in party mode, they say, I put the party in party mode. You guys want to keep partying? Subscribe. And maybe one day I'll come back to that channel. Maybe it'll be today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Maybe if you got more than two kids listening to the car, one of them is expendable. Just throw them out. You don't need them. Exactly. Two kids, perfect. Three kids. Here's the other thing, too. You got a kid. Like you, know what I, you, know what I, you know what I would have liked as a kid if I grew up, in the, if I was a kid in this day and age, if I was born? Yeah. I would want immediately my parents to make me a Gmail to secure my fucking Gmail name. Smart. Make it for your kids and then go subscribe with that Gmail. It's gone, though. What is it? It's gone. All the names are gone now. Now you have to have a number in your thing. And you're, like yeah, you're going to have a kid one day, right? Yeah. You're probably going to spit one out. One of you is going to spit one out of your body. And that kid's name is going to be something Miller. It's well, I'm going to spit one into her body, then she'll spit it out. You spit a, you spit a few hundred thousand into her body, yeah, and then one yeah. of them hopefully comes out yeah. in, a, in a relatively short time period. Um, I'm just saying, whatever it's going to be, even if it's like, Miller, it's yeah, gone. Yeah. It's already yeah, taken. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to get Miller, number 01056969. I don't think we're there yet, you think? We're definitely there yet. Dude, they're like, I, I, I think about this in terms of movies. How many fucking movies steal the same title from each other? Sure. There's just so, there's only like a, a finite amount of things you can call a movie. And after a certain point, like Annihilation. Well, let's just keep making movies called Annihilation. How about that? <laughs> I don't know why the fuck not. Uh, See, what I'm doing is I'm checking. Don't 
shout anything out. Oh, I no? can shout yeah, it out. You're right. you're right. There it is. There. Uh, Patreon. This month, uh, we have our, uh, at the fan tier, is going to be a personalized uh, birthday card for Greg. So from if you Greg, are, From Greg. For Greg. From it's going to say, happy birthday, no. Greg. You're going to get it. You're going to sign it. You're going to send it back to Greg. If you support us on Patreon.com slash KindOfFunny or Patreon.com slash games at the fan mail tier for the month of March. In April, my birthday month, I will send you a birthday card that you are free to open when you get it, or on your birthday, just stick it up on there and little a little oh, thing to reward a, that's yourself. That's a much with better one idea than mine because yeah. mine involves dual postage, where you send them a card for you, they sign it, "Happy birthday, Greg," and then it sure. feeds your ego as it comes back. You get like thousands of cards back. That's pretty say, good. Happy that birthday, is Greg. pretty good. Though. I do <laughs> like that a lot. I do like that we a lot. We could call it audible. All right. I'm just saying. No, no, no. We'll stick with this. You take the card, you ship them an envelope. They have to put their own stamp on it. You see what I'm saying? This is also this is just a better one. We you know we like to do the old what the fuck gags around here. Mm-hmm. This would be a good one of raining. We could do that and rain love on somebody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where we send them the card and the postage, and they all turn around and send it to Jonathan Dornbush or something. You know the what Dorn? I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. the Dorn. Yeah. Is that what they call him? We call him the boy one. Uh, the boy wonder of news. I call him the Bush. Nice. I've never nice. met him before, but I call him the Bush. Everybody tweet, sure at Don, everybody tweet at Jonathan Dornbush. Hey, the Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's never heard that Hashtag before. KFMS. I'm sure he went like this. Wow, that's the funniest joke. I've never heard that before. Just like I never heard when I was uh, growing up Nick the Dick or Nikolai Volkov or Nickelodeon. Never heard any of those. Sounds like you heard a lot of them. Volkov is pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You grew into Nick I'll the Dick, it. too. You got to go with what you know. Late and this jets. man knows penises. All I right. do know penises. Uh, Greg, before we get into your spoiler-free slash spoilerific review of Tomb Raider, I do want to talk a couple news stories. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, there is a party mode up right now. Brand does, new party mode. That does not feature me, of course, because if I am nothing if not a man of my word. I refuse to be on any party modes until we reach 230,000 subscribers. But Andy, however, and Greg, however, are not doing that. They we have played, played Far, Cry 5. Far Cry 5. It is now officially up on YouTube.com slash games, a co-op mode, uh, party mode. Go check it out. Of course, then over on Patreon.com slash games. A new party mode is up. For anybody giving us just a dollar, that one is PUBG. And we'll see how Nick fares in that one. I'll Possibly say- his last appearance ever on Kind of Funny Games. That's what happens. That's what's going to happen. This is what you guys I, wanted. I will say this. Uh, I have not watched this party mode yet. Yeah. But I saw. I heard you guys recording it, and it sounded like it was a blast. It's great. It's great. It I, sounded it, like, like you guys have a great time. For real, I cannot wait for fucking Far Cry 5. Beforehand, I couldn't wait for it. But now that we've played this, like I am very much like... This is the Far one where it's like uh, you have to attack the fucking cult. Like everyone yeah. is like a yeah, cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I see a cougar running next to you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bear too and shit. Yeah, <laughs> is it your this friend? would be this would be a great one for you. I would love to do a full play of this with you. Okay, where you and me just fucking go through and tear this shit. I'm up. totally down. I'm totally down. You, as you know, I'm really good at first person shooters. I know. Some would say I'm the best in the office. Sure, especially oh. when it comes to rockets. And we're not going to ruin the party mode that's up. But during the edit, you were very much vindicated in your lag complaints. Remember when we were playing PUBG and you're like, La- it's lag, it's oh, lag. Yeah. We we're all like, it, oh, it was terrible. You're vindicated. Yeah, I wasn't screwing around. Okay. Unlike, uh, yeah, sometimes I do make shit up. But that wasn't one of those. You and I, well, let's We're not spoil it. We're not going to spoil it. Okay. Uh, Kevin, bring up this first trailer. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but uh, uh, before you press play on it, uh, Bo Burnham is a guy who uh, Tim's a huge fan of. I followed his career a little bit here and there. I know he popped up in the Big Sick. He's got some who comedy is he in special. the Big Sick? He's one of the co- he's one of the comics. Okay. That uh, Kumail Nanjani is like hanging out with. Uh-huh. He's just one of those guys that like is, if it's on Tim's radar, he should be on my radar. Huh, okay. He's a YouTuber, he's a he's a comic. He does really really elaborate like really cool stand-up shows uh-huh. or like his specials are like feature multimedia, he plays songs, he does he does all sorts of stuff. He apparently has quit stand-up comedy. He's like I'm done. I did everything I wanted to do. But he's one of those guys that I look at and I think to myself, I want I want to find a reason to hate you. But sure. You're, you're just not sure. because I'm jealous of your success of and your work ethic and your talent. But I'm you're not giving me an in, right? So I see that he's making a new movie, and I think fantastic guy who's making a new movie. I can tear that apart. I know terms like cinematography, director of photography, uh, two four zero aspect ratio. I can judge this guy right now, and I can sit and judge you can him. Nail I can, it. You can crush I can it. hate him just so I can feel a little bit better about myself. The problem is. A, the movie's put out by A24, who historically puts out great movies. And B, it actually looks really fucking good. Okay, let's watch some of it. Let's watch I, a little, I, just a little bit of it. It's a very long trailer. This movie's called Eighth Grade. It's two minutes long. I love A24 movies. Hey guys, uh, it's Kayla, back with another video. So, the topic of today's video is being yourself. Being yourself can be hard. And it's like, aren't I always being myself? 
and yeah, for sure. But being yourself is like not changing yourself to impress someone else. A lot of people like call me quiet or shy or whatever, but I'm not quiet. Most quiet. Day. <laughs> I don't talk a lot at school, but if people talk to me and stuff, they'd find out that I'm like really funny and cool and talkative. By the way, I like your shirt a lot. It's like so cool. What? I always wanted lights like that in my room. What, like uh, Christmas lights? Christmas lights? Christmas lights? Yeah, lights. We can put those in your room right now. Well, That's a gem. Huh? I said one more week of eighth grade, right? Yeah. I'm into this. I'll tell you whether. Yeah, it looks fun. Uh, yeah, okay, go ahead and pause. I don't watch yeah. the whole thing, but if you guys if you guys are into it, of course, it's on YouTube. Uh, I just watched Lady Bird, and that's what this reminds me of. Lady Bird, great movie. And I think it's fascinating that he chose this as subject matter. I think he wrote and directed this. Um, it looks really good, and what? I'm super jealous. Yeah, no, it looks awesome. Is he in it? I mean, he's got to be in it somewhere. I well, I'm sure at some point he he pops up in a cameo. Okay. But funny you bring up Lady Bird. I, I watched it, mm -hmm. loved it. Yeah, so so blown away. Didn't know what I was getting in for either. You know what I mean mm -hmm. on that one. But I'm surprised that Joey Noel. Talk so much shit about it for so long. You know what I mean? Joey, come in here and talk about how I didn't like Lady Bird. No. What's up? What do you want? Where's Joey? She's uh, she's in L.A. Oh, oh Joey's in L.A. Mm -hmm. it just sucks that she fucking hated Lady Bird so yeah, much. Yeah, I heard um, she was saying things that I was like, that's egregious. Your your criticism of this movie seems is off base. Really off base. Right. Right. Uh, right one right, of the right, things right. she said was she came in and she said, "Wow, it really nailed the dynamic between mother and daughter." Uh, she said, "Wow, I was born in Sacramento and it really hit close to home for me. I loved this movie. I think is what she said." She, I believe, but said it is, wasn't good and that she'd rather watch Rampage. Well, who wouldn't? And remember, of course, now we call Joey Joester. We call her Joester. This is the first time we've brought it up on a show, but remember, Joey is now Joester. When did that change happen? Because did I not uh, read this, my Slack notification this, yeah, on that? Yeah, you haven't, and it was on Twitter. Uh, Kevin, what? That was about hour nine of our marathon of Monster Hunter over the weekend that we we decided to name what? Joey Joester. <laughs> we was to, was yeah. Joey uh, taking part in this marathon? No, no, we were just talking about Joey. Okay, you just brought up. We Joey like to spend. An, we we were at one point we got to. Hey, let's spend an hour. Talking about each person from kind of funny while they're not here. What'd you guys say about me? We never got to. We, we got really hung up on Joey. It took it, it took a lot longer than that. Just Joey. Just Joey, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four hours left at that point. believe it or not, that actually makes me feel a lot better. Although I'm a little disappointed you didn't start with me. Well, we saved the best for last. You know what I mean? Nah, you should start with me because I'm better. <laughs> I guess right. that's one way of doing right. it. Sure. Yeah, okay. uh, speaking of things that are better, segue. Kevin, bring up this next news story. No. This comes from uh, Twitter. Ryan Johnson's Twitter says, The Last Jedi is out today in the States. And for digital downloads, Blu-ray two weeks. This is the... Um, uh, all the special features, my favorite one is kind of hidden, so I wanted to call it out. If you buy the movie anywhere online or the Blu-ray, you have access to a music-only version of The Last Jedi. This is the full movie, but with no dialogue, FX, or backgrounds. Just John Williams' score. I really wanted to put this out. It's really something to see John's music play with the movie like a silent film. I'm going to say, I'm going to go out of limb and say, I, this will get me to rewatch this movie because it'll probably make more sense. Oh! 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 oh See what I did there, Kev? Yeah! We went on a, you went on that walk with me and it turned out to pay off. We got to the donut store. If you did you watch uh, the, I think it happened while you were gone when the deleted scene came out of uh, Captain Phasma's alternate uh, death? No. What did they do this It was then? really good. Was You're like, wow, this is a great really scene. Awesome. You really probably should have put this in there. But Instead of, course, of her do if fucking falling into a pit of, of space and fire. I don't remember how she died, but yeah. yeah. yeah how did she die in the alternate take? She comes out of that. Like, you know where she fell? Yeah. It, like, she doesn't fall all the way, but she comes out. And then, and then her troops show up around her, right? And they're like marching in on Finn, uh, Finn right? Mm -hmm. yeah. John Boyega. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, blah, blah, but how would they feel if they knew that, like, how qu I put a gun to your head and you turned on everybody so quickly? Would they trust you then? And, and she, like, she has her smashed eye. And you can see her eye kind of like look around and stuff as he's like talking shit. And you like see the stormtroopers like next to her. And then they, they all start doing like this kind of thing. And then she's, she pulls out her gun and shoots all of them. And then she gets in a fight with him and gets killed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was real cool. Oh, okay. Well, well, I should have seen it. It plays better than I, I you know. I, I got very excited just now. I got excited, but then part of me just thought, I, I don't want to talk about The Last Jedi anymore. Okay. I just wanted I mean, to. You literally brought it up. It's I your know. Show. I, you wanted, I to. wanted to bring it up just so that people, uh, I could just piss people off and then uh, jump back into my own little safe cocoon here on the okay. show. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. What I like to do is occasionally, um, they call it trolling, I think is oh, what they call it. okay. What I like to do is I like to jump, uh, jump into my own show. 
fuck with people and then not give them an opportunity to tell Just, me why. You don't, you don't want them to clap back, as Cool Greg would say. Nah, right, Cool Greg? Yeah. I'm telling you one thing right now. I'm here on this show slapping right now. I'm fucking slapping. That's fair. You are slapping right now. Anyone's out there slapping or fapping or doing whatever the fuck they want to do, I don't want to hear about it. You just make a noise and avoid, if you know what I mean. You can't do that. Avoid the noise. He ruins pizzas. Avoid the fucking noise. They got to bring the noise back, man. Bring him back. You remember why they took him away, right? Because uh, he was a pedo? <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks like, he definitely gives off that vibe. In reality, fucking homeboy somewhere else in, I forget where, went crazy and like shot up something and said the noise told him to do it. Domino's is like, we're going to stop using the noise. Oh, that's <laughs> too bad. I think enough time's passed. Bring you know the noise I mean? back. The noise was great. And by great, I mean it was the most annoying character that sure. anyone's ever come up with. Second only to those fucking uh, McDonald's characters that were not Ronald McDonald. You know, the, fa- the, the hamburger, fry guys? the fry guys. Fry guys were cool. If I saw those things in my living room and I had a shotgun handy, I would just well, blow sure, them they're the fries. fuck away. you blow would, them away and it's just ketchup and french fries all over your house. Then I, then <laughs> I, then I, yeah, turn on Netflix, turn on Jessica Jones, start watching that. By the way, I started watching Jessica Jones. No. Really? No. I liked the first season. I did too. Oh no. I'm three episodes into this season. Literally nothing's happened. Yeah? Nothing. There has been one action sequence and it's with, it, it was bad. That's it's sad. I feel like we always wor- worried about zombie saturation, superhero movie saturation. For me, it's the superhero TV show saturation. Well, we've point, hit both. Where I've just, no, they, we haven't. We have hit both. You're we not have. excited to go see Age of Ultron and every other superhero movie they put uh, As far as, t- I'm, or not I'm, Age of you, mean, you said superhero TV and zombie. We are saturated. Both those in my gotcha. opinion. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I said we're borderline movie. superhero movie no, saturation. We're not. we're not at all because that's per- perfect. That's a two-hour commitment. Once every few months, few you months, go yeah. to, you enjoy it. This thing was like, well, the Defenders and this and that and pun. And I'm like, I just can't. I'm sorry. I, I just had. To, I just quit cold turkey. Don't even watch the Flash anymore. No, you know what I mean? You know, just I too much, uh, just too much. I'm still on the Flash. Is it good? I saw it's, Iris has some powers for an episode. It's uh, it's every it's every bit as good as it's been for the last few seasons. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's throwaway. It's I I watch it while I'm reading stuff on the internet on my sure. phone. That's pretty much all I do. Sure. Uh, occasionally, I'll torture my wife with it because the other day, um, I was like, "Babe, you've been so good." You know, taking care of me while I've, while, I've been, while, while Death and I were having our battle fucking royale. Yeah. Um, to see who was gonna win, I won, of course. Come on, like I always do. Uh, she put on uh, Shonda World. Are you familiar with Shonda Rhimes? Mm-hmm. Now Shonda Rhimes has a, a production company called Shonda Land, I think, or Shonda World. Whatever. I already don't like how much Shonda, Shonda's using the word Shonda right now. Shonda, first off, you better get ready for it because Shonda's coming to Netflix, and Shonda Land's gonna be spread into Shonda Epic World or whatever the fuck it is. Either way, she does three shows that my wife watched back to back to back. Now, once in a while. I'll watch one of these shows and think to myself, this is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. No human beings would interact this way and all of these people would go to jail. But I can take it for an hour. I cannot take it for three hours. We watched Grey's Anatomy, How to Get Away with Murder, and Scandal. And they are all fucking terrible. Terrible. Got into Grey's Anatomy a little bit because you know I like bad bad TV. How to Get Away with Murder is fucking ridiculous and scandal is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life I just don't get it but my wife watches all three of them halfway through I'm like these shows are dumb and she says if you talk again I'm gonna bring up the flash and I shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up yeah for two hours I want to give a shout out here and answer a question from Neo J2 who's talking shit in the chat time to clap back so I guess the guys are getting old now no longer comic book fans no motherfucker that's exact, that is not what I said at all huge comic book fan you only have so many coins in your pocket to put into what you want to do with your free time. So much time on a day. I like video games. I like comic books. I like going to the movies every so often. Not all, not nearly as much as most of you motherfuckers. Every so often, especially for a superhero film. But the TV shows, there's just too much for me now. There's just too much. And I've never been a big TV guy. I don't have 22 hours to sit there and no. watch all this crap. No. I like you. Black Mirror comes out. It's seven episodes, whatever. You marathon in a week and you're done. Speaking of which, uh, went a little down. A black mirror rabbit hole. You, right. you mentioned to me that there was a Star Trek episode. Yeah. With a uh, starring Jesse. It's the first uh, one, the Jesse USS Clemens. Callister, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I was like, oh, it, w- it happened to be the next one up after whatever. Like what I, when I bladed over, I just saw it and I was like, oh, I'll watch this. And I watched it and halfway through, I'm like, this is so fucking dark and twisted. Yeah. I can't watch this show anymore. Yeah. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. And it makes me wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love this show so much, how much of a deranged psychopath you must be in your real life to want this level of engagement with something that is that fucked up? 
It's good science fiction. That's my fiction. question. It's good science fiction. It's, it's good science fiction. Disturbing. Unlike Annihilation, which was boring science fiction. Did you see Annihilation? I did. Mm. Well, I'm going to wait until that comes on Netflix in one month. Yeah, we, Jen, Jen and I left the theater and we were like, mm-hmm. and, and then the next day, the next day we saw the he, the headline yesterday that yeah, Netflix it, it, Annihilation coming to Netflix worldwide or whatever. And we're like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't know that. That was like a story on here. When? It was a couple weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, I went and saw Game Night. Mm-hmm. Thought it was going to be really funny. Could not get into it. Really? Tim loves that one. Tim loved that he said I was crazy. Yeah. Admittedly, I saw it with my wife, and she makes everything 10% less funny. Because she brings in 10% she brings she brings in in more cloud. adults. Well, she's just like, this is dumb. But I, could, I was like, this is not, this movie's not vibing with me right now. Gotcha. I just couldn't get into it. Um, I'm sure I'll watch it again two years from now and, compl- and tell everyone it's the second coming of Christ. But long story short, as I left, we left the theater to get our money back. Yeah. Because my, wow. like, my wife's like, well, we haven't been in here that long. And like, I'm not enjoying this movie. I wonder if we can get our money. Not like my money back or we're never coming back to this theater. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. just like, hey, we've, it's only been like 30 minutes. Let's see if we can go get our money back. Actually, I think it'd been like 45 minutes. So she was like, you can't get your money back. Yeah. It's been 45 minutes. But she literally looked at us and she was like, I got to be honest with you. You should get a movie pass. And I'm like, why? She goes, because then this shit's free. Yeah. She's like, it's free. Yeah. No, I didn't end up getting my money back. It was 45 minutes in. I couldn't argue with the woman. I was like, I have watched half the movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like when you eat half a sandwich at the restaurant, you're like, I didn't really like this. And the server's like, well, now we're at a crossroads. Yeah. yeah, Because had you taken one bite of the sandwich and said, this is disgusting, but clearly you're satiated and you're just trying to get your money back. Yeah. And my my wife was like, no, let's just go. Because it was a mat, it was like a matinee. Sure, sure. Matter. Yeah, you do that. You do that dollar theater stuff a lot. We, I do. I, we do the old people and children shows. Yeah, similar to how when we go to dinner, we do the happy hour slash old people slash children hour. We might go to Apache's Pizza later tonight for our date night. Yeah, and we go around like four thirty, and so we can be in bed by six thirty. What are you eating at the Apache's? You're not. What are you? What are you they eating? got a happy hour now. They got wings. Oh, okay, okay. They got wings. They got meatballs. Fair, fair. So I go get wings and meatballs. They're not great. Meatballs but, or the wings? But the wings. I, I thought how you liked them. They're okay. Kevin likes them. We had, we had them on our on our marathon day. They're baked. Yeah. So they're not as crispy sure. as I like them sure, to be. True, true, true. Uh, and they also do a thing with their buffalo wings where they put a seasoning on first. They put the rub on first, mm-hmm. and then they put the buffalo sauce. Yeah. So it's got a smokiness to it that yeah. I just I don't like. Oh really? Okay. I'm, I'm one okay. of those. I'm a traditionalist. The only seasoning you should put is salt. And then more salt in the form of the the, the, the sauce. sauce. Yeah, or it's just what, vinegar, crystal, and salt, or, yeah. or not crystal. What do you use? You use that Frank's Red yeah, Hot. Yeah, yeah. I use Sweet Baby Ray's a lot too. Yeah, yeah. See, those are great. You throw in any other stuff, it's like cutting the cocaine with something. Sure. You're putting baby powder in the cocaine. You don't, I don't want the baby powder. You're cocaine. just diluting the fun factor of this here drug. You just want that salt bar. Yeah, you want to dry out your tongue. Yeah, that's what you want. That's exactly what I want. Uh, Nate Sticker. There's been a long debate here about annihilation in uh, sci-fi. Also, Annihilation not coming to Netflix in the USA, people have been saying. Uh, Nade Sticker says, did Greg like Ex Machina? Loved Ex Machina. Amazing movie. Things happen in it, and it's not boring, like Annihilation was. Yeah, that was Alex Garland as well. Interestingly enough, I just saw an article um, about a week ago when I was uh, when I was grappling, when I was uh, having the what some are saying the most epic. The fight of your life. Of death. Yeah, fight of my fight, fight of death's life, actually. I, it was easy for me. Sure. But death came at me, and I was like, bro, you better come correct, and it right. did not. Um, Saying that uh, Carl Urban came out finally and was like, hey, FYI, like Alex Garland pretty much directed Dread. The guy that directed Dread that everyone knew kind of didn't do it because he just shit the bed. I guess Alex Garland had written Dread and was on set and directed most of that movie. I don't understand. The, would the guy shit the bed for Dread? I didn't hear about this. He, the director, it was, I guess it's this, hol- this, this like, well, not very well kept secret in Hollywood that the guy just wasn't very good at directing and like just didn't really show up and had a whole bunch of problems with the producers and the creative team behind it. Gotcha. Um, and so I guess Alex Garland was kind of stepped in and like every day on set was like, why don't we just do this? And effectively directed the movie. Gotcha. That's what they're saying. Um, I love Dread. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, next news story. Real quick, pull this up. I don't know how to feel about this because Bruce Willis, if you're watching, I don't know how to love you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I will always have a special place in my heart for you. But after Die Hard 5, I don't know if was I that can. that fire sale? Was that the fire sale one? No. Okay. No, that was good. That was the Timothy Oliphant, uh, Maggie Q, actually pretty decent movie where he becomes a superhero. Uh-huh. Die Hard 5 yeah. was in Russia with uh, Jay Courtney, mm-hmm. who I don't know why they keep letting this guy act. Okay. He's, I don't, he's not compelling to me in any way, shape, or form. Sure. Um, that was the one where he's like his son, but his son's like a black ops specialist. Sure. 
which you're like, all right, cool, I guess. And he goes to Russia and fights Russian mob people. Huh, okay. And like the Russian army. So apparently, uh, Die Hard 6, still in the works over at the old Fox Studios there, who uh, are now owned by Disney, back, or soon will be owned by Disney. Back in 2015, it was announced that Len Wiseman Underworld will be reinventing uh, Die Hard with a sixth installment in the Bruce Willis headline action series. Although, we've heard very little in the way of movement since, it seems that Die Hard 6 still remains a priority for 20th Century Fox as the tracking board is reporting Chad and Carrie Hayes, the Conjuring House of Wax, have been brought in to rewrite the script for the film. Assuming that Wiseman and Fox are sticking with their original plans, the sequel is reportedly going by the work, working title Die Hard Year One, and we'll see oh, Bruce geez. Willis reprising his role of John McClane in the present day. However, it will intercut with a story set in 1970s featuring a younger actor play, uh, portraying McClane as a regular cop in New York City. I'll tell you one thing I love right now. Die Hard without Bruce Willis. Yeah, right? Doesn't that that's just sound the, fun? Just, you know, back to it's it. like just making stop. a TV show about Batman without Batman. I feel like that's going to be a good yeah, one. people like Gotham. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, I know. I mean, I, you know. A lot of people, yeah, people tell me all the time I should give another shot and this here, got better here, here's based Gotham. on uh, Gotham Central. Yeah, Gotham's like, a boat out in the sea and I just took a fucking shot across the bow. Wow, wow. What kind of, so you're shooting with a rifle at the boat? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, a little M1. <laughs> putting little holes in it. Oh, oh wow, okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, I think the hot boy in the chat says it best. Who gives a fuck about Die Hard, Nick? <laughs> I mean, it's it's get, here's the deal. Die Hard, I remember when I watched Die Hard, the original Die Hard, I believe my mom took me out of summer school. We took a day off. We went in 1989 and watched Die Hard. It was fucking awesome. And I loved it. Then Die Hard 2 comes out. I was like, pretty much the same movie. Just at an airport. A little too long. Don't give a shit. Love it. Yeah. Die Hard with a Vengeance comes out. Introduces me to a That's very Sam young Jackson, buck. Right? Samuel L. Jackson. Never seen him before in a movie. Sure. Never seen him since. Don't know what he's been doing. But he was fantastic. Theater. A lot of theater that of, Samuel L. Jackson's doing. He wants to be a real actor. He does. Is that where it is? That's what it's all about. Uh, I'm like, cool. Die Hard 4 comes out some many years later. And I'm like, can he still do it? And I got to be honest, Die Hard 4, you know, Nathan... Uh, uh, Fillion. No. Long? North. Justin Long. Justin Long. Justin Long is yeah. his name. He's the sidekick. Kevin Smith's in it. He yeah. plays the tech guy. I'm like, this movie's actually really fun. Timothy Oliphant's the bad guy. I Big love Timothy, Timothy Oliphant. I love Timothy Oliphant. Maggie Q is his sidekick. She's super awesome in it as well. I'm like, this is pretty fucking good. Yeah. So I get reinvigorated with the series. Sure. I, I, I'm like, I'm going full steam into this Die Hard 5 when I'm going to make it. Then I see the trailer for it. I'm like, oh, God. And then I watched it. And it was half a movie at best. Yeah. There are action sequences that I think they just ran out of money for. Like, he'll be running toward a glass, and they'll just cut to him in a cafe. You're like, oh, That's funny. cool. All That's right, funny. I guess he got through it. Similar to, like, uh, you know, that shot where Captain America just runs and gets engulfed by flame in the first Captain America. Sure. Um, and then he we just, don't know if it, he gets out, but fine, then he walks out of the room. And then we ranked it way too high on our list. Captain America won. We ranked way too high. Well, I mean, according to him, I think he's saying it should be bottom barrel, oh, apparently. Yeah. It's not. It's an excellent movie. Yeah. Y'all ranked fucking Winter Soldier way too high, too. Guess what? I think it's been called out many times in the chat today. You have bad movie taste. You've We're got awful out there. movie taste. Awful. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, now, Kevin, that's not a direct quote from Kevin. That's a direct quote Kevin from Mr. Yes Man 300. Awful. He's just reading what he sees in the chat every so First often. First off, Mr. Yes Man 300, where the fuck were you yesterday? I asked for some information. You did not come through, so you failed me once. Damn. If you fail me again, sir, what? you are banned from our channel for five minutes. I, can't, I don't have the power to do that. I'm not even sure if we have the technology we can do to that. do that. We can do that yeah, but yeah. Kevin will be monitoring you, and if anyone says anything to you, he will uh, threaten their life and their livelihood and their third child. Remember, Mr. if you have more than two children, the third one is a throwaway. For the record, Mr. Yasman 300 does continue to spam throughout the chat. Breaking news, Spike Lee may direct Nightwatch Marvel movie for Sony. I couldn't give less fucks about that news right there. No offense. This is, and I like Spike Lee. I'm just saying, may direct something called Nightwatch, which I have no fucking idea what it is, a Marvel movie by Sony. Like, okay, so it's not even in the MCU. I don't fucking care. The, wake me when it's confirmed and I know what the fuck it means. Because right now, I'm saying Spike Lee, you make excellent movies, but until you're confirmed to make a movie, you, you really don't like Spike Lee movies? I mean, I haven't watched a Spike Lee. I, I couldn't tell you. I, the last one he did, I didn't think I saw. And prior to that, I think he took a long break. And if he did, I don't know the movies. I mean, I'll tell you one thing right now I love about Spike Lee. He did a movie called Mo Better Blues. Sure. With Denzel Washington where he played a trumpet player. Yeah. And that is the reason why I picked trumpet. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I remember thinking I want to play a musical instrument. I don't know which one. And I saw that movie and I was just like, he just looks so fucking cool on stage. Yeah. I was like, I think I'm, I literally turned my mind, I was like, I want to play trumpet. And of course, Alana Scarpino in her infinite wisdom was like, all right. What did you want her to do? Shit on your dreams? I, some dialogue, some discourse back and forth of why. Like maybe I was like, hey, I'm having this amazing, grand, inspirational moment. And I was like, whatever, dinner's gonna be ready in five minutes. God bless her. Mm -hmm. She's a great parent. What is, what is Nightwatch? Now I'm, I'm actually curious about oh, this. Oh, here we go. I'm actually, I just wanna know what Nightwatch is. 
It's one of those things that everybody's gonna act like they fucking know what Nightwatch is and act like they care, and then they're not. They don't know what it is, and the movie will come out and be great because it's gonna be Marvel. I've been a Nightwatch fan for twenty fucking years, yeah. man. Just like I was Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Nightwatch is among Sony's stable of Spider-Man-related Marvel characters. In addition to the 2019 Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, the studio also has Tom Hardy's... I don't really care anymore. I don't care anymore. What I do care about is this. A lot of people saying that we're on the cusp of the next generation, Greg. Yeah. The video game movie, right? Fuck comic book movies, right? Sure. When are we going to knock it out of the park with this Halo film. When are yeah. we gonna knock it out of the park with this Uncharted, this, this, this uh, uh, Tom, what's his name, Uncharted film? You know? Tom Uncharted, Tom Holland Tom in Holland Uncharted? Uncharted? Yeah, okay, okay. When are we yeah. gonna knock it out of the park with these things? Yeah. Some, are pe- some people are saying, Nick, it's already happened. The Tomb Raider movie is Did here. they? No. <laughs> Everyone's giving this movie very lukewarm reviews, but you came back very positive this Kevin, morning. Kevin, toss up the GameSpot okay, review. There you go. They gave it a good one. Tomb Raider review. A great video game adaptation. I want to go far as great. Here's what I'm going to say about Tomb Raider. Went yeah. and saw Tomb Raider last night. Everyone, This is spoiler free, of course. Went and saw Tomb Raider last night mm-hmm. with the love of my life, jean vivre saint Thon. jean 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 Had a great time. You're going to love this movie. You, Nick Scarpino, are going to love this movie. Okay. Because it's a good action flick. Yeah. It's a good action flick, and I think that should set the bar for what you're getting out of it. I last night was talking about it. Somebody's like, "Well," I was like, "I liked it. I really enjoyed it." And kids are like, "Well, what other uh, comp- or, uh, video game movies have you liked?" I'm like, "None. I've never seen a video game movie." Where I'm like, "They thought this is good." Where I tell you to go see this. I don't you, think I'm. I'm you not- didn't watch Alone in the Dark. No, and somebody, somebody, uh, <laughs> shout out Silent Hill. I didn't see Silent Hill. Oh, that's what I meant. Um, They're bad. Okay. This one, however, doesn't feel like a video game cash in. Feels like an action flick. It definitely feels like the one where the sequel is going to improve on the little things that didn't work here and it'll be much better. But I thought she was a good Lara. I thought it was a good journey. Uh, I think it's, there's the goofy action shit in there, right? Of just like... The thing going up overhead. Oh, sure. That. There's like, the Matrix and there's shit. There's like one... The, like, the final boss fight is very much like, ooh, that's an interesting way. I wouldn't have done it that way. Like, she does something... I won't ruin it, obviously, but she runs and does something and I'm like... Afterwards, I was talking to Jen. I'm like, that was a weird way to engage that fight. I wouldn't have done it that way. There's, right. like, but whatever. It was fun. It was. Uh, what's I keep opening up because I can never remember because I always want to say Timothy Oliphant, Wal- Walton Goggins, who I've seen in a million other things. You know this guy? Yeah, Walton Goggins. Yeah, he's fucking justified. He was great. Yeah, and first, I know him from uh, Sons of Anarchy. But he's yeah. also in uh, the last. He's in a million films. Film. Yeah, Hateful Eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. Character. True. True. Fucking great man. He's a great villain in this too. And the thing about it's it a great actor. that we were talking about afterwards, because in like, so I want to, when lights come up, Jen and I leave. Jen is a huge Tomb Raider fan. Jen is the one who put out that photo of her like having like that Nintendo Kid moment with Tomb Raider 2 back in the day where her parents got it for her, where she unwrapped it and it was, you know, Tomb Raider 2 on PC. Huge mm-hmm. dork. Yeah. Uh, she left and she tweeted like, this is the movie, this is the Tomb Raider movie I wanted when I was nine years old. And she left, and the more we talked about it, the more she's like, they really, they, the writing wasn't hokey, she wasn't sexualized, it was, she's a strong character, the cast is strong. What I loved about Walt and why I bring him up, right, is that he's the bad guy. Yeah. As you know from the trailers. However, I feel like his motivations are grounded. And mm. he, he, and I was telling Jen, like, you know, he wants one thing out of this. I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, these aren't real spoilers. He wants one thing. He's got, he wants the MacGuffin. Whatever he wants the MacGuffin to, is. He wants to get to this thing and get it right. And then he just wants to go home. And he keeps talking to people. And, like, don't get me wrong. He's killing dudes that aren't doing what yeah, he wants to do. he's jacking people. But, like, I was like... I honestly believed him when he was telling the other people, just... Oh, let's open the door and then we all get to get on the plane and go home. You know what I mean? Talking yeah. to like his adversary. Yeah. And I was like, I believed him when he said that. I, I mean, granted, he killed some other people that are being assholes, he but he's just like, I just, I've count. been here for, he, spoilers, I've been here for seven years. He's, it's like the first thing he says. I've been here for seven years. I just want to go see my family. They won't let me go until, or I, they won't let me leave until I get this done. Interesting. And so I was like, oh, okay. I get your motivation for why you're doing this. I got Laura's motivation for wanting to go after this. Her partner is a little flimsy but it's like it's an action movie whatever this guy's dropped into it yeah. he's there you know what I mean like there's all that uh, the ship crashing scene that you seen was actually really good there was a whole bunch of like good action in it it was it was you're gonna love this this is definitely a movie for you there's a few things that I think get into spoiler territory of like okay that beard that's that's it he's got a beard whatever and like there's little things like that but I thought it was really good as somebody who loved uh, both uh, the Tomb Raider reboot and Rise of the Tomb Raider uh, I thought this Told a different story than the original Tomb Raider, mm-hmm. if you will, because uh, it's not—it's very much the same idea in terms of a thread of like where she's going, why she's going there. But uh, when she gets there, and so if you're—I'm not gonna spoil anything. 
But as you move closer and closer like an story to her, the right? end goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. As you move closer and closer to the end goal, it's starting to line up with the game where I was like, huh, the game gets pretty weird with their ending here. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. how are they going to do that in a big bu- budget movie and make it make sense? And they get there and they go in a different direction. There's a, and there's a bunch of different directions. Like, it's not at all. That's this, great. That's it's, cool. It's, and it, does, it is insulting to the, you know, the game or anything mm-hmm. like that or the lore or anything like that. It, but they go in interesting ways that I was like, oh, okay, okay, that's interesting. And when they do the big turn, I was like, oh, you know what? That's actually really cool. And that makes way more sense than the game did. Because that was always one of my things about the game where I was like, why is this happening right now? Why are we doing that? The movie's fun. You're going to like it. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not saying to anyone really... Go out and rush out and see this rush movie. Rush out and see it. Like I, But again, I'm not Mr. Movie Guy. I think on a plane on Netflix, whatever, it'd be great. If you're a big action fan, if you are a big Tomb Raider fan, I think there's enough of a reason to go there to experience this and see it. But there's cool set pieces. She's good. The story's good. The characters are good. Uh... Uh, Shaun of the Dead's f- fat friend, what was Shaun's friend? Oh, Nick Frost in it? Yeah. Oh, that's he's right, he's like it. the tech guy, right? Yeah, he has two ma- scenes, one of which, of course, is ruined in the trailers. He has another scene before that mm-hmm. where he's good. Like, it's just like... I miss that guy. He's me too. He's so good. He's oh, so man. Good. Like, I was... I, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it's one of those things that my expectations were so low, because I had none, really, where I was like, oh, this looks good, but let's see what it actually... But, I, and I, but again, I would have never actually probably gone to see this in a theater outside of... Hey, we got a screening. We got, a screen. we got screening passes, and generally like Superman. Okay, that's I had a lot of fun. That, I think it's a fun movie. That is the thing about you that that when you say, "Hey, it's a good movie. You should go see it." I, I appreciate that because you are the person in my life who probably not. It's not that you like movies least; it's that you have the shortest attention span for movies. In that, I have talked to you number numerous times where I'm like, "Hey, did you watch this thing?" You're like, "I watched five minutes of it," and then I thought to myself, "Why am I not playing Persona Five? Right. Or you'll put something on in the background, and you, if it doesn't click with you immediately, it's gone. Yeah. It's, so, uh, so hearing you say this is fun and worth two hours of my time, I yeah. think is probably high. Price. And that's the thing for me is like, and like we were talking about earlier in this episode, right? Video games are at the top of my thing. If I'm at home, I want to play video games. I'm usually only watching Netflix or something, whether I'm tired or I want to eat. You know what I mean? When you're eating and you watch something. Mm -hmm. But so it's always video games. It's always comics. And then when it gets a little more like... I I like movies because it's less of a commitment than a Netflix show, right? Yeah. This was a night well spent. We had a lovely dinner at Coxcomb beforehand. Have you been to Coxcomb yet? No, but I saw you tweeting about it. And I was like, that's a great name. Love this place. We've been there a million... We've been there a bunch of times. I Last night it it? finally dawned on me. um, uh, Awesome Americana. Like, you know what I mean? Steaks and chops and stuff like that. No, no, no. Okay. They got they got oysters. Oh, they, I saw the steak. Yeah, they got the these steak grilled cheese with a duck egg on it. I've never done it. Ooh. They got they got pig ears with squid. So fucking amazing. It's like Cheers. calamari, but pig ears in there yeah. too. Tasty. Uh, it dawned on me last night. We have to have our holiday party there this year. Okay, that's where you got to book it now. Oh, Joester, put it on, Joester. Oh, Kevin does bring up a good point. I said let's go lo fi this year and just rent out a round table pizza. Why don't we just do that any other day? Because every year, here's what happens every year. Yeah. With our holiday party. We yeah. We get. A fancy place. We spend way too much money. It's not enough food. It's 50 different types of food. None yeah. of it's, some of it's good, some of it's bad, but like they're pairing fucking squid with sea foam alongside pork and, and by that, by five, like 20 minutes into this, I'm like, what the fuck am I eating right now? Sure. Can I just get a slice? You know? You just want a slice of pizza? Can I just get a fucking slice? It's pie day. 314. No, I always say this. I'm like, I think it's, it's always lovely to do something nice for everyone and have yeah. everyone come together and dress up and things like that. I'm just, I just, I just don't like the the meals where they go. We're gonna, it's a pre-planned, pre-fixed menu. We're just gonna bring you out a bunch of stuff. It's it's weird for me. I'd rather be like sit down and be like, I know what I'm gonna get. This is what I'm gonna get. Like the the, the meal we had at uh, for Andy's birthday party. I was like, this is nice. This is a good thing. Yeah, that was I just want to go a little bit lower. Fi, I don't think we need to go. I say we go there. We just, we order what we want. We don't do the menu thing. You know we could I mean? do that. Too. That's that's, yeah. that's the bigger thing. That, that's possible. I'm gonna answer some questions from the chat. Okay. Here about they, they make the, you when it's such a big group. Not some time. places do, but we can find a place where they'll let us order a la carte. Table, remember? We, we can also just stop time. inviting Sean Finnegan to our holiday party because he doesn't show up anymore. One O underscore U says, "How do you explain the low scores in, on Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic?" Just curious. Should we not listen to the critics? Well, I don't know. Yes. A. Don't listen to critics. For a case in point, I think uh, we we brought up the IGN review. Uh, before Greg wanted to go over the GameSpot review because he was... They were more in line with what I think. This is more in line with what Greg's opinion was. Yeah, Moran Sanchez on like IGN it. gave it a 5.5. Right. What, did, what? How do they score movies? They don't there? score them. Scroll down, Kevin. I think they just put it in there. I think they just do pros and cons, right? I can read the last pair. Nevertheless, Tomb Raider is a great video game adaptation and a decent action movie on its own, elevated by smart story choices and winning performances from Alicia... Vikander. Vikander as Lara Croft. Here's hoping for a sequel. That's what I, I fall into. I don't know if it's a... I guess if we're comparing, if we're comparing everything, it's a great video game adaptation. Right. 
It's a good video game adaptation. It's a good action flick. But uh, here's what I always like about what, what I l both love and hate about reviewing movies mm -hmm. and talking about movies. I've never ever said I know a lot about movies. Oh no. Like what I like and I don't like what I like. This isn't like video game reviews where I feel like, hey, okay, I'm gonna compare it to this, that, and the other, and I have well, thousands of hours in here of reviewing. You have, the, you have, you have enough uh, of a lineage of watching movies since you were. I mean, we're pretty old. We've watched a lot of movies. Sure. You know how to compare things. But I don't think I ever. I never critically watch a movie like you guys do. But where what, Tim's like, oh, the editing. Oh, the editing and the story, and or not the the editing and the fucking soundtrack, dude. I'm like, what? no. To me, it's obviously, like, oh, Wonder Woman's theme pulled me out. I'm like, shut the fuck up. That was good. I like that thing. Uh, to me, obviously, uh, every every review is subjective, right? There's yeah. no one out there that I listen to who nails it, who who vibes with me 100 percent of the time. Sure, I'll read reviews every once in a while from people, and I'm like, I don't. I just fundamentally disagree with that. That's just the way it goes. Every you bring in what you get out, right? You bring you, you bring into a movie the things that you want, and if it doesn't evoke that emotional response that you're looking for, if it doesn't entertain you, if it doesn't thrill you, if it doesn't make you feel something, if you're bored, that's generally when I'll pan a movie. Right. Um, but I've also I've Often said that I have, I have the three tiers, the Scarpino we, three oh, tiers yeah, of movies, right? Yeah, yeah. There's bad, bad. There's good, bad, and then there's good, good. Yeah, good, good. You got your Academy Award in movies. Recently, I watched Lady Bird. Yeah. I watched Three Billboards. I'm going to watch The Shape of Water. These are the good, good movies where I hold these to a critical higher expectation. Yeah. Well, like when I watch The Shape of Water, that's when I want to talk to people and really uh, dissect. The storytelling, all the storytelling elements, from the visuals, how those back up the story, the thematic elements of the story, all of that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. That's when I get super fucking pretentious and bougie and mystery ass man. Hunter's like, that one thing you said was wrong because you're stupid. And I'm like, what did I get the fucking guy's last syllable of his last name wrong? That's where I protect those. This middle ground is where I really like to be. Yeah. This is, you did play. I like it or not? Just play, yeah. Did I want? Did I? Do I want you to watch Dirty Grandpa or not? Yeah. Right. And then there's the movies down here where I'm like, these, there's only a handful of them where I've actually walked out of a theater because they've been so bad. Oh sure, yeah, I know. Like this is where I, this is where I would put like the the Game Nights and the Pacific Rims and wow. like the original Avengers, not the not the movie that we talked about in MCU, but like the Ray Fine Uma Thurman Avengers that's oh, so yeah, horribly yeah. made. Yeah, yeah. There's only been three movies in my life I've walked out on. One was Game Night because my wife wanted to leave. I would stay. She just wasn't feeling it. Two. Avengers. Three, Taylor of Panama, which is a movie with Pierce Brosnan that was so bad, and yeah. Jeffrey Rush was so bad, I had no idea what was going on. I just got up and left and got my money back. Sure. That's the way it goes. I don't know why I went on that tangent. I was entertained by Tomb Raider. I think a lot of people will be, too. Uh, this is how I am. I don't credit. But, like, the opposite of, you know, like, Annihilation. Annihilation, here's the thing with me and movies. Yeah. I, I, if I see the trailer, I'll be like, oh, man, I like this movie, and I'll remember that movie. Even then, you're getting maybe a 25% chance I watch it on a plane or on Amazon eventually, sure. right? Annihilation, I apparently saw the trailer for forever ago. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't remember it. I, I think we saw it during a movie we saw. Everybody, and that's, we Jen's watched. like, we saw it during Blade Runner. Everybody yeah, forgets I wasn't was. at Blade Runner. I wasn't there. I was they, out of time. they played it a bunch of times. Like Anyways, of Jen was like, let's, we, let's see a movie tonight. I want to go out. I'm like, sure, baby. And we looked, and it was either Annihilation or Game Night. And she was more into Annihilation. I was like, great. I know nothing about this movie. I'm going sight unseen. Let's get in there. And it did the cardinal sin of movies for me where I was like, I am bored. What am I going to do yeah. in Monster Hunter? When I go, wow, I'm, I'm hungry. Should we? Where should we go eat? Blah, blah, it's hard. Oh, wait, something's happening. Oh, this is, it's, it's a pretty movie. Yes, it's a pretty movie. That's why everybody keeps coming back to it with me, Annihilation. It's pretty. I'm like, yes, it is pretty. All right, well, now they're just back to walking and talking. But this is the problem, right? right? And this is, where we have to, this is where we have to really make the distinction oh. of are, are, and again, everything's subjective. Yeah. But I have to ask myself, am I bored in this movie because I've seen way too many movies and my, I'm closing in on 40 years of existence on this planet? Sure. Or are they really just not doing anything new that's pushing the envelope that's showing me something I haven't seen before? Watching this one, I was just like, man, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? It was a long movie, but it was really entertaining, and I didn't mind not having answers at the end of really? Contact. Contact was a great fucking oh, contact movie. Contact was fucking great. Contact was a great movie. And this movie ended, and I was just like, yeah, oh, Jesus. Whatever. Well, co again, Contact was great, but how many times have we seen those storylines now played out? since Contact came sure. out, right? Sure, sure. Um, you, you, have you seen Annihilation? No, not yet. It's an interesting premise, right? Well, I know the premise is yeah. like there's this bubble that's expanding. This and thing crashed into a lighthouse and slowly this bubble's been coming out and people go in and they don't come out. I'm like, all right, yeah, tell me Sounds all cool. about this fucking world. It's got to... And then we get in there and they just play Dammer, fast right? and loose with the fucking rules and nothing. And don't explain things. Great. Yeah, see, I don't like that. I, I saw the preview for this and I'll be honest with you. It, it, I like Alex Garland. Um, I loved Ex Machina. I thought it was a great... I thought it was a really cool uh, uh, sort of nuanced, great introverted sci-fi awesome. film. Fucking awesome, right? Ex Machina was awesome. Um, 
you know, introduced me to Dom Hill Gleason, who apparently is not British. I keep saying he's British. People keep going, no, he's fucking Irish. Stop Chad keeps kind of shouting out, it sounds like Arrival. Yes, and again, when we left and we're talking about it, I was like, Arrival was such a better movie. Arrival was great. Um, if you're talking about deep cerebral sci-fi, there's a handful of movies that have come out in the last few years that really did something new for me. Uh, one of the movies I love is Interstellar. I, can't, I mean, I watched that again maybe about six months ago, six to eight months ago, and I fucking... I cry when when he has to leave the house and sure. she realizes that might be the last time she ever talks to her dad, but it's too late. Like, there are so many beautiful emotional moments in that. When he's watching the feed come in yeah, yeah. and he's seeing his fucking kids grow up yeah, yeah. to him, but he hasn't aged. He's only aged like a month because yeah, yeah. he's been gone and he's traveling through these fucking wormholes. Rival, great. And he's just, he just has that scene great, where he's fucking like laughing and crying at the same time because yeah. he realized the monumental fucking gravity of no pun intended of what's been happening in his life and how yeah, much yeah. this means and like how much he sacrificed. Murph. That's amazing. Yeah. You contrast that with the trailer for uh, Annihilation when there's a bear monster and I'm like, eh. Yeah, exactly. Not really that interesting. But I'll give it a shot. I love Natalie Portman. They got me with Matt Portman. Yeah. As you know. She's really good in it. She's fucking great in everything. Not the least of which is No Strings for Attached. For the Dark World. Which is the... Uh, the uh, the better of the two movies that came out around that subject matter. Friends with Benefits? Time. Nah, we don't talk about that. Okay. Friends with Benefits was uh, not good. Okay. Have I seen it yet? No. Really? No. You like it. it. It's good. Fun movie. Maybe I'll watch it one day. I'm not a That's fan. The... Of, I'm not a huge fan She's of the Timber... uh, Justin Timberlake uh, kissing anyone else but me. Gotcha. That's what I'm saying. You know, here's what else I'll put out there, ladies and gentlemen. People ask me all the time, hey, Greg, you do all these great shows. You interview people. You get to talk to celebrities. Who's a dream interview? Who's a dream person Neil you'd Kunis. like on the show? Yeah. You know who I'd like to have? Stick with me. It's a walk. And I don't know his name. Kevin, I'm going to rely on you to do the research. The dad, Justin Timberlake's dad. <laughs> he took a break in your sentence, and I heard crunch, crunch, yeah, he's crunch. Eating like, right. He's like, he's just, po- he was, he's eating a chip, and yeah. he's got one free that's, fucking that's, finger, that's and he's Kevin just like, does. imdb.com. Uh, Timberlake's, <laughs> Justin Timberlake's father, what movie? Give me the movie first. in Friends with Benefits. Mm. And then, this will be easier for you, the guy who wears a toupee in Shape of Water, her, the, the mute woman's best friend. Oh, the that guy from Six Feet Under. That character actor, I fucking adore. Adore this man! He's one of those guys like Walter Coogans, who I'm like, I, I should know this guy's name, but I don't. Scroll me on scroll down, down to the cast. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a shout-out. I'll give you a shout-out when I see His him. Name stop, is... stop. There you go. Richard, Richard Jenkins. Jenkins. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're watching on Twitch, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you are listening on podcast services around the globe, including Spotify... One of you has to have some kind of connection to Richard Jenkins. Pretty sure we can get Richard Star Jenkins. of stage and screen. Let's see if he has a Twitter. From Step Brothers as well. God, this so guy good. fucking crushes it. Also, he's from DeKalb, Illinois, where I went to the farm and fleet all the time. So we have something to talk about already. Kevin, click on his uh, his bio for acting. Go down, scroll down. Ooh, filmography, just actor. Click on actor. Ooh. What the fuck? He's been in so- Shape of Water, obviously. Kong Skull Island, Jesus. But he's been in like so many good movies and so many good shows. Now this is this is upsetting. So I put Richard Jenkins in Twitter, right? Yeah. I click on the first Richard Jenkins Twitter on Google. It is not the Richard Jenkins. It is instead a Richard Jenkins who has a Horizon Zero Dawn banner on his Twitter. Good start. And a Horizon Zero Dawn Twitter avatar. He says he's married to his soulmate, proud dad, blah, blah, Sony Europe PlayStation MVP, SCEE beta tester, and member of Dad's Army Clan. I don't know what that is. I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm I'm not convinced this is not Richard Jenkins. I am offended he doesn't follow me. This seems like textbook Greg Miller follower. You know well, what I mean? Hit him up and say, why don't you follow me? No, I'm... I'm also, on, do you know the other Richard Jenkins? I'm on the hunt for the other Richard Jenkins, who I would imagine... I mean, maybe I'm just painting with I, a broad I bush. I doubt out. he has Twitter. I was going to say, I bet he doesn't use Twitter. He is... Because he's just... He, he's like a great professional wrestler who jobs all the time. Yeah. He's just putting other people over. He's just doing his thing. He's not in it for the celebrity of himself. He's there to put over your Ric Flair's. I thought Ric Flair was the guy that used to help people Rick be awesome. Ric Flair didn't fucking job for nobody. Are you kidding me? I saw his fucking documentary. People said he no, was he's... the best person to wrestle with. No, no, he, he's great. Yeah, he, he did fucking but I'm sell saying, I, But I mean like... What does job mean? Lose. Like, okay. The Job Squad it was this, this group. Like in the, You remember back in the day when you used to watch professional wrestling? Remember like on Saturday morning, Hulk Hogan or The Warrior would come out or Papa Shango yeah. and they'd have all these awesome entrances and then there'd just be a guy in the ring who just got his ass beat. This guy number one yeah. wearing exactly. generic that was That's somebody who was the job squad. You were, okay. you were there just to lose. You okay. were just meat grinder while you earned your rank. So eventually they'd be like, all right, cool. We like what you do. Now your gimmick is this. You're a snake man or whatever. And they'd cool. be like, oh, snake man's God, here I now. Snake man. Uh, 
All right, while you look that up. Uh, well, I Kev, mean, I'm not looking up. It's on you guys now. I need help okay. getting in touch with Richard Jenkins. Here's what we're going to do, Kev. You're going to pull this up while I read some tips, just so people have a visual, something cool to watch. This was on Reddit. This apparently was some technology that Disney used, and it's fucking awesome. Have you never seen this before? No. Oh, yeah. It is amazing. It's so And cool. very or elaborate. I can't even imagine how long this shit used to take. Now we just, people just go out there, they got a fucking iPad, they do all this stuff. Well, this but, shit made a lot, it a lot easier. So now I, they, they could, instead of making all the frames, they could just move this contraption. It's really cool. Look at that. That's so awesome. Craig's not interested at all. No. I'm sorry. Uh, Tom Taylor okay. has announced he's, he's done with all new Wolverine, so now I'm reading his goodbye thread. Okay. Uh, this is big news for you. I'm sorry. While you're reading that, I'm going to read some cheers and some tips. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. If you have tipped us, if you want to tip us, you have approximately five minutes to do that, and then I will see you tomorrow. Uh, we've got the first uh, tip comes from Justin Ryan Bear. It says, Nick, while I disagree with your defense of Avengers over Guardians, I feel much better once I realize how much we agree on The Last Jedi. Karina. Uh, the Andy Prince says, Greg, we took the day off to watch Justice League. As a kid who enjoyed the 2001 cartoon, the movie was totally fun and awesome to watch. Good stuff. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't fully agree with you. Yeah. I thought it was, it was a fine movie. Last 15 minutes, amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. I like the sounds your hands made as they opened and closed. Ryan Johnson is... Crotch, crotch cricket, and that's all I have to say about that. Thank you, said the lesbian Jedi. He gave us 500 cheers. And Wrath Anime says, Greg says it's not a good movie. He's not a good movie critic, so he finally admitted we shouldn't listen to him when he says uh, Batman vs. Superman was a good movie? Question mark. P.S. Nick, get movie pass, and you'll never regret a bad movie again. Um, I, I don't understand why you don't get it. I don't understand. We're, we're going to. We're going to now. But, like, you could already have it right now. Yeah, I just we, we just made the decision... Uh, when we walked out of that movie, Danielle was like, we, we, should, we should get movie Sounds passed. like she made the decisions. Uh, that's how most decisions work. Yeah, that's no, how I'm a lot of decisions way, in my yeah, household, but... yeah. When it, here's the deal. When it comes to subscriptions in my household, my wife is the keeper of those things. That's not on my list. Sure. We still are having our, uh, our two-man feud, our two-person feud with HBO Go. We refuse to get that. But my wife is buckling because Westworld's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she really wants to watch that. So... We'll see what happens. She also wanted to watch Get Out. She hasn't seen that yet, but it's on HBO. So we'll see what happens. I'm finding a good photo of Richard Jenkins. Okay. To toss up and be like, hey, I, because I, I think people are going to, I'm going to, if I just tweet out, I want to hang out with Richard Jenkins, mm -hmm. people are going to be like, who? The guy from Europe who likes PlayStation? I'm like, no, the fucking actor. Guys. Amazing if people just knew him. He's a beta tester. <laughs> While you're doing that, Greg, I'm going to read P.S. I Love This Best Friend XOXO's nomination for today. Uh, Mr. Hard to find a good photo of Richard Jenkins. He you know what I mean? That's a great one right there. This one here with the eye thing? Yeah, he's got no, the eye thing. No, I don't oh, that doesn't look good. Well, you got to tweet. You got to do it from a movie. Here. Like, type in Richard Jenkins, uh -huh. um, Step Brothers. Okay. And find a, find a frame from that. Okay. Give you some good stuff there. Okay. okay. Give you some good stuff there. While you do that, uh, Mr. Penguin of Penguin, that Penguin Von Penguin is shouting out Iron Storm 613. Said this guy, around for game nights, fun to talk to, and the official holiday mod for the kind of funny Discord. What more could you ask for? Can't ask for more. If you guys want to nominate someone, please go to kindoffunny.com slash best friend, fill out that form, and let us know what you think about other human beings. What's up? That was a funny way to put it. I don't know if that's what he's laughing at, no, but what you think of other human beings is a pretty funny way to say stuff. Yeah, Let's see if it. there's a, a gif of Richard Jenkins. I'm sure there is. It's the Catalina wine mixer, man. There we go. Fucking there Catalina. Oh, there are ones. Okay. Wine. Of course, dude. He, everyone knows Richard Jenkins. God damn. His name. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, giveaway time. How do you win? Well, there's four ways. One, you can be uh, you can be in the Twitch chat right now. This is a live show. If you're watching on YouTube or you're listening on uh, iTunes, you are just you're just effing up. You are just effing everything up. Come watch live. Be in the chat. You get entered to win. Uh, two, you can be a Twitch subscriber. Well, how do you do that? Well, you can give us your hard-earned money. Or, just like I did yesterday, I have Amazon Prime. You get one free Twitch Prime subscription. I like to practice what I preach, Greg, unlike you. I gave it to Fuck Jay Jamrod. You. Congratulations. You've got the most coveted Twitch subscription, subscriber, subscribership, sub ever made. Me, this guy. I subbed to one, two people. One, Alfredo Plays, because I forget to unsub to him every month. I get charged $5. And two, JJ Jam, J. Jamron. There you go. Congratulations. Uh, ways three and four. Patreon. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on now. What? Kevin, the tweet is out. Can you show people the tweet for Richard Jenkins? I need some retweets on that. We need some love. And then I'll log out on Twitch of being kind of funny. I'll log back in and see if my subscription's up, which I don't think it is. 
Because I walked in recently, I feel like, on this show and gave it away. But for you, I'll do anything, Nick. Time flies fast when you're having fun, Greg. So it could have been a month ago. Is this the one you wanted me to show? Sure, that's cool, Greg, saying happy WrestleMania 20 14 year anniversary, which Woo! makes me feel so old that WrestleMania 20 was 14 years ago. Wait, I don't understand that tweet. Go back to that. It's the 14th anniversary of WrestleMania 20? It's been 14 20? years since WrestleMania 20. So it's, that's in fact, favorite. the 34th re- anniversary no, 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 of not WrestleMania. Not you're not understanding. That's his favorite WrestleMania. It was a big deal. Greg, can you explain why it was a big deal? Uh, okay, cool, Greg. Come explain why WrestleMania cool, Greg, 20 was a big deal and why we should celebrate it every come year. Come in here. I'm, I don't know. I just really liked it. I look forward to it. I think it's the best pay per view I've ever seen in my own. Your, your tweet is confusing to me because if I'm reading this correctly, you're, it's, the tw- it's the 14 year anniversary of WrestleMania anniversary 20. Work. No, that's how it works. Is it 14? It's been 14, 14 years ago. But it's also 34. So it's the, it's the 34th years? anniversary of WrestleMania. Does that make sense? There have oh, been 34 okay, okay, WrestleMania. Something else got you. Okay. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but WrestleMania 20 was different, man. At least for me, this show was special, man. My Eddie Guerrero one. Or yeah. Eddie Guerrero. Def- Is that Eddie Guerrero right there? Chris yeah, Benoit yeah, yeah. one. Like, there's a lot of good things. Oh, Chris Benoit. Yeah. Tris, Tris Stratus went heel. I don't know, man. Sorry. It was a good show. Okay. It, was, it was one of the first things I ever, like, had a date. It was, like, six months away, and it was the only thing I counted down to every day. I used to, like, draw pictures and all the bullshit. And I still have the posters in my room. All right. Right next to my kind of funny ones. Damn. Yeah. The coveted spots in Cool Greg's room. I'm happy. I'm happy we got and we made it on the, the wall. Me too. I'm Ready very happy about that. Yeah? Sure. There it is. Now this is the one I need help. Richard Jenkins is on the lamb and we need to find him, everybody. We need to retweet this. Someone out there. Let's test the reach of kind of fun. This will someone in LA will see this and be like, oh Richard Jenkins. I fucking put his car tires <laughs> together every day. <laughs> Sometimes I put I hide things in there, like little mini explosives, just in case he pisses me off and doesn't tip well. I don't car. own a car, so I don't know what every day somebody would do to. I guess you well, gas you it don't, up maybe. You, you generally don't get your tires worked on every day. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, I mean, if you just don't, you want them not to be bald. You know, that's the big thing. That's I'm not how it works. Them. You got to get new tires every like four or five years. Okay. Yeah, well, you got to rotate. Agree to disagree. So. I guess in this one. Well, there you go, uh, everyone. Go retweet this. Let's get Richard Jenkins on the show. I think that would be a blast as well. Uh, while you're at why don't you hit up Dan Fogler and see if he remembers me. Uh, ways three and four, you go to patreon.com slash kindoffunny or patreon.com slash game. Support us at the $2 or above level and you get entered to win. Congratulations to today's winner coming from the Kind of Funny Games Patreon, Josh Finderup. You have won Ultimate Chicken Horse on PS4. We're getting a bit long in the tooth, but I do want to go into the three and three right now. Queue up your questions, comments, or compliments. We'll read those from the norms, and then we'll go into the coveted subscribers and spend a little extra time with you guys because you are the wind beneath our crotch. Whoa! I've said. Uh, not the Lysander at work says, maybe don't show Richard this clip of Greg laughing like a madman, question mark? You know what? Richard would be cool with it. He understands what it's like to be a performer. Many of you don't. <laughs> Just Mi- saying. Mr. Yasman 300 says, Nick, Macaulay Culkin is doing a podcast called Bunny Ears. He also has Twitter. I don't know that we need Macaulay Culkin anymore. I think what we're do you good. mean? I think we're good. The Culkins had their moments. They had their time. Rory Culkin, remember him? Kieran Culkin was one of them. Rory Culkin was one of them. Yep. Macaulay Culkin was one of them. They came and went, man. That's how, that's how life works. You know? Circle of life. Now we're on to the Hemsworth. The rose comes up. The rose de- dies, decays, goes back in, worms eat it, they shit it back out, it makes another rose. I think that's how it works, I think. That's not, uh, something, that's circle of life. Now we get the Hemsworths. The Hemsworths, in effect, are basically the Culkins after the superhero, the super soldier serum. You know what I mean? Sure. Like they oh, put shit, the, they yeah, put the right. Culkins in that's, the machines that's and they came out with the Hemsworths. That's fair, that's fair. You know, they kind of went a little south on the third one there, but it doesn't really matter. Which one's the third one? He's a guy that like, is look like my height. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's a dude from right? Westworld. I know. Oh, from it's Westworld. The worst, yeah. Who's he in Westworld? He's he oh was, the dude who like is he's like the security, security guy. Oh, he, he's fucking awesome. He don't know. Yeah, he's great, but I he's not he's gonna Chris like Hemsworth. Doesn't when he stands be. next to Chris, Chris and Liam Hemsworth, he looks like they're like older Who dad. That guy yeah. is related to those Hemsworth. He was uh, he played Thor in uh, Ragnarok. He played the the guy the guy in the play. Sure, that was why I'm very excited to get back to Ragnarok. I watched it. I watched it over the break. I won't watch it. I will not watch it until we get there. All right, let's read some more comments. Mr. Good Yasman statement. says, Greg, have you tried getting in contact with Guillermo del Toro on Twitter to get Richard Jenkins? No, because remember, we tried to get Guillermo del Toro on this show half-assedly via Twitter before he really blew up here at the Oscars. 
And we were like, we got Beeps Burgers if you want to come get a Beeps Burger. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. didn't respond. And so really, to reverse engineer this, it would have to be, I hit up Hideo, who hits up Guillermo, who then hits up Richard Jenkins. And I feel like I'm not... I, I would need to hit up Hideo to get Guillermo to set up a relationship, to get Guillermo del Toro here, to hang out and prove we're cool, to feed him the beef burgers, to then let a few weeks pass and then hit him up about Richard Jenkins. And I feel like at this point we just gotta we gotta circumvent. We gotta get right to Richard Jenkins. And somebody out there who follows me has a connection to Rick, Richard Jenkins and we're gonna get him. I do love the narrative though that we are just using Academy Award winner Guillermo del Toro. Yeah. Just to get to Richard Jenkins. Well, if I'm being honest... We're just using him like a cheap, cheap hooker. If I'm being honest, it rubbed me the wrong way that he didn't respond to the Beeps Burger tweet. I don't know that a man uh, not from West Portal in San Francisco would know what the fuck Beeps Burger is. <laughs> I don't is. care. I mean, He what? probably thought you were insane. If you Google, you're telling me he's so busy making movies that he can't just Google Beeps Burger yes. to find out how great That is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you he's so busy making movies. Academy, I should... Uh, again... I can't express this term enough. Academy Award winning movies that he cannot take time out of his busy schedule to Google a fucking In two burger seconds, shop. I went from one tab, opened a new one, Googled it, and look what I see. 4.5 out of 5 stars on Google. You're telling me Guillermo there's Toro's in the going like, what, 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 and he's like, what? And he just gets up and leaves whatever he's fucking doing in Hollywood. Is he even in Hollywood? Where does he live? I don't know, but I say two things on that last statement. One, that was a fucking spot on. Spot on, Guillermo yeah. del Toro. Thank impression. you. I've been and two, on it. I did not realize that Beef's Burger uh, rated that highly. I'm now on your side. Fuck you, <laughs> Guillermo del Toro. We had a very, it was fuck very you. clear. Fuck you for snubbing us, and fuck you for making a movie. I'm not going to watch your stupid Shape of Water movie until this weekend. No, oh, okay. Well, when my mother, <laughs> when my mother-in-law's in town. Uh, let's see. Hey, that was really funny. Thank you. Maybe Guillermo's a 4.6 and above guy. That's true. He does have high. He's very classy. That Guillermo. Are we getting Beeps Burgers today for lunch? Is that what's happening? Because you've been looking on their site for the last like five minutes. Well, now I'm seeing, well, now I'm confused, but I'm seeing there's an article here on SF Eater, the best $7 burger in San Francisco. Yeah. Ingleside Classic Beeps is thriving under new ownership. And the, it's a glowing review with beautiful photos of Beeps. Yeah. And then at the bottom, it's got this little widget that says one star. That can't be right. No, that's not right. That's probably the user reviews, and it's probably like one dude. I was like, I fucking hated this place. It's outside. Duh. Why can't we step into the new G- fucking 2018 have indoor things? Why do I have to leave my house? Why do I thinking. have to wear shoes? Why do I have to not get everything delivered to me? Why do I have to not complain about everything? Um, someone keeps telling me to watch Altered Carbon. No, the show doesn't speak to me. I got Mute queued up on my queue as well. I'm probably not going to watch that either. Is that out? Mute? Yeah. yeah, it's a Netflix original movie. Um. What is the beer on Greg's shirt? Oh, this is Napa Smith Brewery, of course. The guys who support us and give us free beer for our kegerator. It's very, very good. If you're coming for Kind of Funny Prom, maybe you should go up to Wine Country afterwards, but just go to Napa, Napa Smith Brewery because it's real good. Mm. They're really good. Might make a Kind of Funny beer with them one day. There you go. Uh, Ca- uh, Cab BBQ says, Nothing like watching a chick fuck a fish, uh, a fish man with your mother-in-law. Uh, spoilers. Strong what the fuck, dude? Seriously, y'all get pissed at me whenever I say shit that's spoilerific. Why you gotta ruin my fist fuck fantasy? Jesus. That's a good point. Uh, Nick, did you watch Theory of Everything? Thoughts? Uh, oh, the Theory of was that, that was a Stephen Hawking film, right? Was that the Theory of Everything? The Eddie Redmayne, Stephen Hawking? Yep. Uh, no, I did not see that, actually. And I know that St- uh, Stephen Hawking died today, so RIP Stephen Hawking. Um, no, I didn't see it. Eddie Redmayne freaks me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Why? I don't know. Okay. He just freaks me out a little bit. I see him, I'm like, freaky. I feel a little freaky. I'm very susceptible to actors. To freaking? And once I see an actor and he does one thing that freaks me out, I'm like, no. That's the end of you? I'm done. Okay. The guy from Altered Carbon freaks me out a little bit. I liked him in The Killing, okay. even though it was really slow and boring. And I only got about six episodes in before I'm like, I don't give a fuck who killed this chick anymore. Like, okay. if this is how long real murders take to solve, <laughs> no one I'm, cool. I'm cool not solving murders. Um, two, he came in, did his best shot on... Uh, uh, the RoboCop remake mm. didn't care for it that much. Okay. It was fine. Didn't care for it though. Sure. So I'm just not. I'm not all that. I'm not on this guy. This guy hasn't done something to that. I was like, I'm, I got to be in this guy's camp. You know, he hasn't Chris Hemsworth me. He hasn't Jeff Goldblum me. The Goldblum. I look. I don't even know his name. I know Richard Jenkins' name now. Thanks to you, Richard Jenkins. Everybody. There you go. Richard Jenkins in 2018. Uh, we're in sub only mode, by the way. Nick, why haven't you watched your name yet? It's on your. It's it's on your PO box. Well, I haven't checked the PO box, Ignacio Rojas. But I'll tell Kevin you said hi. 
Uh, Nick, who was winning at WrestleMania, AJ Styles or Shin Suke Nakamura? I got to be honest, with you, I got to give that edge to Nakamura. Mm, I feel like it's it's, Nak- it's Nakamura's that's a, time. That's a good call. Man. I feel like Nakamura's put the work in, and I feel like uh, if you don't give Nakamura uh, a chance, uh, Vince McMahon, if you're watching the show and you're listening to me, you don't give him a chance right now. He's going to the other organization, the other the more popular one. He's going back. He's going to go back. You can't go back. Nick, when the fuck you watch and call me by your name? Again, that's another one I might watch this weekend. That one seems a little bit more uncomfortable to watch with my uh, my mother-in-law. But Why? I don't know. Because it's about a lot of fucking. There's a lot of fucking in that. Which movie? Oh, yeah. Call yeah, me by yeah, your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Army yeah, Hammer yeah. and yep, the kid yep, that yep, who yep. played the, the, the boyfriend in Lady Bird. And they just... They go to town on each other. each other all over the fucking brick walls in Italy. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Two boys. Mm. No. No? Can't say that. It's acceptable in Europe. They got more, they got looser laws over there in Europe. I think it wasn't that. It was just the the fact that you did the two boys. Mm, like you were like getting, <laughs> you, you know, you can't lick your lips. <laughs> like there's got to be a line to just like, even if it was man and woman, woman and woman, like there's got to be a line for on Twitch, I think, of what you can go, mm. You know what I mean? Like you're looking at a delicious Beeps burger we'll, plowing into another Beeps burger. You know what I'm we'll, saying? You know, we'll agree to disagree. <laughs> Whatever the term. Have you read the terms of service on Twitch? I mean, once in a while when we when we cross that line or skate the line, someone brings them up to us. Uh, my understanding of the terms of service on Twitch is that people will let us know when we've gone over the line. Sure, sure. And until that happens, I'm gonna see, I'm, I gotta find the line. Have you found the line? Yeah. Remember when we had the Let's Play logo fucking the kind of funny logo? That was the line. We crossed it. We were in trouble. <laughs> well, let us know, ladies and gentlemen, if my comments about uh, calling by your name cross that line or not for you. While you're doing that, it's been a fun one. It has it's been, been a good, good one. one. We're going to wrap this up because you got to come back. back with Kind of Funny Games Daily. We are way over time. Yep. Uh, apparently. No Andrea. No Andrea to walk in and yell at us. I love it. Jared Petty's here all day. He's doing that uh, one-on-one games cast again with him for Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Finishing off his gaming history. So, like, he doesn't care. He's got nowhere to be. I respect... Jared Petty on a number of uh, levels, not the least of which because he's going low carb right now. Yeah. And I walked in and he, and there was something in the fridge that I had a moment with. A ball of ham. A half eaten ball of ham. Yeah, because he walks around eating like an apple. And I looked at it and it didn't it didn't immediately register what it was. And my first thought was, oh God, what new hell has Kevin unleashed on me? Of course. What is this gonna be? What's it gonna smell like in five weeks when no one, everyone forgets to take it out there? And I, and for the fifteenth fucking time, someone opens the fridge and that <laughs> smell comes after you. People's like, yeah, yeah. guess this is okay. Um, no, it's a handball. That's great. Speaking of which, Kevin, we gotta talk about the water spigot on the fridge. Oh, fuck, is it being yeah, it's not doing it. Uh, we'll just have to invest in new. Uh, maybe, maybe let's try a different brand of the water filters and see what that happens. Let's end the show. You know what? You I got, got another show to do. Fucking get out of here. I got just another leave. show. I tried to print it. It says that there's printer pants. problems back there. You're on the wrong Wi-Fi network. Uh, well, Greg leaves, ladies and gentlemen. I love you very much. Of course, if you didn't know, this show comes Sorry, to you each and every day, 11 a.m. Pacific cool, Standard Time here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Thank you so much for joining us. Those of you who are live, if you're not live and you're watching this and you're still listening, hey, go over to YouTube and leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the show. Let us know what you think about the dude from Altered Carbon. Is he a good actor or is he just a stone block that's walking around well lit? Who's to say? Who is to say? Kevin? Great to have you back. Love you. We'll see you for lunch. Everyone else, uh, I'll see you in about five seconds when I read subs. Stick around for Kind of Funny Games Daily. Kevin, please cut that feed.